Hello everyone, it's me, Carrie. First off, happy holidays and belated Merry Christmas. In this video, I just wanted to update you all on what I'm planning to do with this YouTube channel, Abacaba. The summary is that it's not ending, I just want to merge it with my other channel, Carrie KH. So future uploads of Abacaba style videos will just go there instead, and past uploads will obviously stay where they are. Now, for those curious, let's dive into the details. So, firstly, I recognize that it's been one and a half years since my last upload here, which is much too long for a YouTube channel to go without new content. And I do just want to apologize for my lack of communication of like what the status of this channel even was. That's my mistake. I do think after the merge, it'll be much easier to keep all viewers in the loop regularly. In my last upload here, the COVID 19 June 2021 date of his video, I stated that I was retiring from the COVID 19 topic, which is still true, but I didn't really specify what my retiring meant for the channel as a whole. So to clarify what retiring means to me, we need to hear a bit of a story time and go way back to 2014. As the story goes, my brother Michael and I created this YouTube channel in 2014 because I had started this project of graphing the popularity of baby names in the United States over time using bubbles. I was supposedly so interested in data visualization as a separate topic from my other YouTube stuff that it just had to have its own space distinct from my other channels, Jack and Jellify and Carrie KH. But here's the thing, at the time, my channels were Jack and Jellify, which was for BFDI animated cartoons, and Carrie KH, but Carrie KH was just for anything that I, Carrie, was personally interested in with a slight STEM lean to it. I hadn't specialized into computer science videos until maybe fall of 2016. So then the question is, why didn't I upload my first Abacaba video to Carrie KH instead, since it's really no different from the rest of the hodgepodge of Carrie KH stuff? Here's the real answer, or at least a bigger piece of it. Our pre-existing YouTube channels were all demonetized in March 2014 because Google believed we were viewbotting our own ads. Why? It's likely because my educational tool, Scale of the Universe, started getting a lot of views from foreign countries because we recently added these foreign translations to it, and I guess views from foreign countries just seem very suspicious. This is a story we already kind of covered in previous videos, so I won't bore you with the details. Of course, my main motivation for making videos has always been just because certain topics like Minecraft music videos or Mandelbrot sets just fascinated me at the time, not money. But it's undeniable that a site-wide demonetization like that would make me reconsider what future life paths I had as a 17-year-old. Especially because at that age, high school counselors, teachers, and your family will start asking you, what college are you planning to go to? And later, what career do you want to pursue? And oh, if you're still doing that YouTube thing, do you really think there's a legit future for you on that site for cat videos? Let's be real, you gotta prepare yourself to become a financially independent adult. So that's all to say, Michael and I created this Abacaba channel in 2014, partly as an attempt to circumvent the AdSense ban, and try to convince people in our real life that us making YouTube videos could still blossom into a career. Again, that's only part of the reason, but it's still a very significant part. Jumping forward to March 2015. And it kind of worked. I'm still so grateful that our first Abacaba video happened to get decent traction from Reddit, when I know that the first thousand subscribers is often the hardest to get. For over a year, Abacaba videos were the only ones we had access to that were still earning real money. Jumping forward to March 2016. Next, a year later, Michael made a video explaining and protesting our AdSense ban, which also got traction from Reddit. We ended up on a video call with a Google employee, and he reinstated our AdSense channel, which was amazing. So now that we no longer had to dodge an AdSense ban, one of our main reasons to flee to Abacaba in the first place was gone. We could now return to our classic pre-2014 upload schedules. Sort of. At that point, I started uploading more often to my bigger YouTube channels and less often to Abacaba, but I kept it around because at this point I had sort of culminated this bar graph race style, which had grown distinct from my Carrie KH stuff that had commentary. I also started to feel personally invested in helping grow the concept of data visualizations as a video genre. Before Abacaba started, there were a few YouTube channels trying it out, like the official YouTube channel, but not much, which felt like a lost opportunity to me. But these days, I'm really astounded by how many content creators are dedicated to some form of entertaining statistics videos. I mean like, for example, right now I'm showing you a side-by-side -side of what happens when you search for animated bar graph in early 2015 
versus today, and the difference is just night and day. This is thanks partly to elegant user-friendly tools like Flourish being released in mid-2016 making it easier, but also due to a community developing between these people giving each other feedback and cheering each other on. It's really inspiring to see. So because of the self-sustaining good work of so many other bar graph YouTubers, I don't think I need Abacaba to be a standalone entity for me anymore. The important news is that in 2023, I want to merge this channel with my bigger one, KerryKH. Here's what I mean by merge. For future videos I make that would previously belong on Abacaba, I'll just upload them to KerryKH instead. After all, some KerryKH videos already have Abacaba-like elements to them, blurring the line between the two genres, and I also no longer want KerryKH to be niched down to just computer science. I want to return it to a hodgepodge of whatever I'm interested in, with somewhat of a STEM tilt to it, so Abacaba-style videos will fit right in. There are a few additional reasons I want to do this merge. One being that when I upload a video to one channel when I have many others, my audiences on the other channels don't realize I've made the video at all, and will think I'm still inactive. By sort of centralizing my work in fewer locations, it makes it easier for viewers like you to stay in touch with my latest projects. You only have to subscribe in one spot now, not two. I discussed this in my last Lazy KH video before I closed down that channel if you want more context. Another reason is that data visualization as a genre just isn't well equipped to building a viewer-based community. It can be done, but it's harder to do when most viewers see you as like a faceless, beautified textbook, and because of that, it's just harder to distinguish you from the hundreds of other bar graph makers. After all, why become a loyal fan to one video of a bar graph of country GDPs over time when dozens of others accomplish nearly the same thing? Dang, I deeply respect video makers still in this genre, because against all the odds I've just listed, they're still putting a lot of work to try out new innovations and bring in new viewers, and most importantly, educate the public by making data as accessible as possible, especially on topics that the viewers might not be familiar with yet. But I, personally, want to steer more towards content that brings in my own distinct voice to the table on KerryKH. So perhaps this means more spoken commentary, perhaps it means more out of the ordinary projects I wouldn't envision anyone else doing, etc. I know one small caveat to making a YouTube channel more general is that YouTube's algorithm won't know which audience to push it to quite as well, which hinders growth. After all, most channels I see exploding nowadays have a very narrow and predictable niche that they excel in, like they know how to stay in their lane. However, since 2020, I haven't really cared that much about maximizing Carrie KH's numerical growth. I used to obsess over that, but it's so easy to end up in burnout or paralysis by analysis that these days I'm okay with Carrie KH never growing anymore as long as I'm still having fun there. Next, here's what Abacaba is actually going to to look like in the coming months. Of course, all videos that I've already uploaded here, 60, will stay here, publicly viewable, for as long as YouTube is alive. There's also a handful of remaining video ideas I have that are just too closely associated with the Abacaba data visualization aesthetic that I want to upload them here in the coming months before the merge. One example of that is this new visualization I'm experimenting with called a barrier path. Then, once I'm done uploading that handful of videos to Abacaba, I'll make one last video here that sums up my final thoughts about this channel. It'll sort of be like a goodbye to this place, but more so telling future viewers that you can find me on Carry KH now. After all, should they come here in 2026 or 2028 or whatever and wonder what happened here? I want the first message on this channel to clearly tell them that I'm not dead and you can easily find me somewhere else. That's pretty much it for my 2022 update for this channel. Sorry for the strange timing, but I wanted to get this out before the new year. I do want to say that I've had so much fun making visualizations on this channel for 7 years now, and some of my proudest YouTube projects here really only happened because of your continued support and encouragement to keep going. I've also loved seeing this community grow these last few years, with creators like Me Too Comparisons, The Rankings, Zazabi, The Hexahedron, and many more, creating 
unique bar graph videos with new styles. If you remember, I made a video in early 2020 showing the explosion of Dataviz YouTube channels, but even just back then compared to three years later now, it really feels like the Dataviz space online is like 10 times bigger now, to the point that some of my IRL friends are even trying it on other platforms like LinkedIn. So thank you, internet, for being so innovative, ambitious, clever, and cool. That's it for this video, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.